Hey, this is Dieter from The Verge, and this is the all-new iPhone 6S. And the most important feature on the iPhone 6S, to me, is this new thing called 3D Touch. And basically what it means is that the screen on the iPhone is now pressure sensitive, which gives you a bunch of options to do cool, weird things. So for example, in the messaging app, you can press a little bit hard on a link and it'll pop up a little preview window of the web page and then you can just lift your finger off and it goes away. You can do the same thing with an address and it pops up a little preview of maps or you can press harder in and it actually opens up the maps app. So that's called peek and pop. You can peek at the thing that's being linked to or you can pop into the full thing. The same idea works in say email. So if I'm looking at my inbox, I can peek at an email address by pressing a little bit and then I can pop into the email. The other thing that you can do is you can peek at a thing and then you can slide up to see a bunch of options. So on this email, I can reply, I can forward, or I can like flag the email for later. So let's peek and pop, but there are a few other things that you can do. So for example, in photos, if you take a photo, it will actually show you a second of movement before and after if you hard press on the photo. So here's just a picture of Jake, but if I hard press on it, there's a little moment before and after I took the photo, which is kind of fun. It also works with live wallpapers, so you can have your wallpaper, and if you push down on it, you can see this fish move, which is kind of fun. And uh, there's a few other random spots. So if you're in a text entry field, you can hard press on the keyboard, and all of a sudden, it, the keyboard goes away and you have a cursor, and you can move the cursor around and place it exactly where you want, so you don't have to try and get it exactly right with your finger. And then I guess the last thing is if you like swipe over from the left-hand side of the screen and you do it really hard, it'll actually jump you into multitasking, which makes it you know a little bit more intuitive to jump around there. But one of my favorite features is 3D Touch on the home screen. You can hard press on the icons and get shortcuts inside the app. So if I hard press on Safari, I can go straight to my reading list. If I hard press on the camera, I can take a selfie because obviously I want to do that. And you can even hard press on messages to get a direct link into uh, a conversation with somebody that you just talked to. So that's basically it right now for 3D Touch, and it's a lot. And what I like about it is it's consistent. When you press on something, you peek at it, and then you can push in harder to see it, and it's consistent across messages and email and so on. The thing we don't know is if it'll be consistent when third-party apps start supporting it. I hope they do, because the idea of peek and pop is uh, really intuitive, and it really makes the phone feel a lot better.